Hello, this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and for unboxings.com and today we're looking at the HP PhotoSmart A532 dedicated photo printer from HP and then have a look inside the box, see what's included and uh, also we're going to set it up and do a couple of little prints so that we can just see how easy it is to get set up and get it running and also what the print quality is like and the speed with which it prints and so on. So. Let's start by looking at what's inside the box. Now, quickly going to mention where we got this particular model from. This one comes from our sponsors, it247.com. Uh, that's it247.com. And they're actually running this at a special rate at the moment. Uh, normally, the A532 comes in at around £80. And you'll find it on elsewhere on the web for 80 quid. And IT247 actually have it for 45. In fact, it's just under 45 pounds. So it's a pretty much uh, it is a bargain. It's probably the cheapest you're going to find it on the web. So definitely worth checking out. So without further ado, let's uh, get going. First of all, on top, so we have a European style plug. We then have the UK style plug, which is three pin. I'm going to need that in a moment. We have the cartridge which uh, is a standard, uh, well it's actually the value 110 but it's a standard cartridge if you like um, in that uh, they're easy to pick up, readily available standard HP uh, 110 cartridge this is the sort of value model, uh, it's sometimes referred to as a trial ink cartridge because uh, it uh, lasts long enough for you to kind of test out you have the mains charger or the mains plug rather, uh, which it has on there a American style two pin plug but uh, we just actually slide this one over the top and that makes it UK so there we go also in the box uh, we have chunky manual and uh, getting started guide and all that kind of stuff all in one pack includes things like how to install the cartridge how to use the printer the menu functions and that sort of stuff that's in that big pack there we then have a um, thing about having, being no CD required because the point for this printer really is that it does work standalone. You don't have to connect it up to your PC in order to get prints. Uh, we have a sample paper pack uh, which contains um, some inkjet paper, uh, borderless in actual fact, and these are uh, five by seven pages. Nice thing about this printer over other models within the HP PhotoSmart range is that uh, it will print 6x4 and 5x7 so that's pretty good. There is also a uh, um, guide here to all the different accessories that you can purchase for the various printers and then underneath I'll take out the packaging and have the printer itself and that's all there is in the box let's just move that out of the way and untake this this is Packs in this plastic. The printer itself is quite neat. Again, as I say, it's fairly similar to other printers in the PhotoSmart range, um, but uh, they all do slightly vary in their you know, function and uh, performance. So, that's what it's a case of unpacking all the bits of plastic on the outside. So, um, rather sticky. I think that's really is most of them. So pretty compact in fact and it has a handle so that you can transport it if you want to and it's not ever so heavy. On the back you do have a USB um, cable socket there so you can use it with a PC if you want to or obviously a Mac um, but the beauty of this is that you don't have to. This is where we plug it in the AC adapter just on the back and uh, looking around sort of the top if you like you have the power button and an LCD screen which I'll just peel off the protector from just for now so we can actually see that without any bubbles and the screen itself does slide, uh, move up and down so you can angle it so that you can see it wherever uh, you actually place the printer and it does sit flat so it's out of the way, a couple of indicator LEDs um, and a series of buttons really to actually go through the menus uh, on the actual LCD screen, as I say the handle lifts up like so then on the front we uh, have a a drop down panel which uh, in actual fact when you pull down the front it releases the back uh, and then under the front we have the space where we actually put in the ink cartridge which we can do in just a moment 
and then we've got uh, a USB connector so we can connect a, a USB memory stick or memory key and it also does work with picked bridge so if you have a camera that's um, compatible you can actually just plug the cable out of here straight into your camera and um, print straight from your camera effectively other sockets we have MS Duo, XD, SD and MMC and paper output tray there just on the front and the back, say the back opens when you open the front and that's your paper guide your paper drops in on uh, just really easily and that's about it really in terms of sort of features and functionality now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually set this up and let's see how long it takes between setting up and uh, we'll actually be able to get our first prints off so firstly let's plug into the mains and plug in the power next thing we're going to need to unpack the print cartridge as you can see it's fairly small and, uh, and this is the value or introductory so this will allow you to get maybe uh, 15 or 20 prints out before you're going to have to replace it and obviously the actual cartridge lasts much much longer uh, if you buy the proper thing if you like so this is quite light because it's fairly empty if you like um, but the real thing lasts a lot longer um, about um, I think it's uh, about 100 prints or so from the, main, the proper cartridge um, that just sits in, in place in the front there very easily close that up let's power on as you see the display has illuminated incidentally those print cartridges the HP 110 they cost um, about 15 quid which isn't bad at all because we have seen uh, some of these print cartridges obviously they um, come up with a a printer that's inexpensive and then have a very expensive uh, print cartridge but uh, we'll just stick with USA and Canada for now doesn't matter that's good enough it's just setting the language basically let's just run that as you can see the LEDs are lining up on the side and it does actually come up that it's a genuine introductory HP print cartridge installed this cartridge will print about 10 photos okay fair enough so I need to load paper in the paper tray so let me go ahead and do that. So we have our five by seven paper. If we load one in, like so, load and press the print button. Now this is going to align the cartridge. You have to do this the first time you install a new cartridge. Um, I have a similar printer to this. The only thing is I do find that slightly wasteful from the point of view that uh, you have to put proper photo paper in to align the cartridge. I find it a little bit wasteful but that's the way they all are unfortunately. So let's just let that run through. You might want to fast forward this bit if you become bored but if you're timing it will give you an idea of how long it takes to set up the first time and uh, how fast we can get prints out subsequently. So it gives you an idea of what's going on. Quite an attractive looking printer as well. Sort of a sort of grey blue with white. Um, it's not you know gonna win any design awards but it's you know, kind of inoffensive and uh say fairly decent looking. In terms of also the media packs, uh, this uh, we've actually got some five by seven pages that come with it but also you can get six four six by four as well and I believe you can get like stickers and you know self adhesive media and that kind of stuff so five by seven and six by four lesser models of uh, the HP Photo Smart only do print six by four this one as I say will do five by seven um, so it's nice to have actually I prefer five by seven prints obviously for for putting photo frames and things like that and uh, they're just a little bit nicer for when you're actually you know giving the pictures away to somebody like family and friends you can give them a slightly larger print there we go okay so the alignment is done it has actually printed this is normal this banding here by the way in case you're wondering if you see this that's uh, totally normal that's actually just where it's doing the alignment uh, and then it's obviously got a little sample image just underneath and even that's come out rather nicely so uh, basically you have to recycle or discard that, we'll just put that back in the box for now and we'll put in another sheet of paper 
and we're gonna just take the memory card out of the camera and it's a 4 gig SD memory card straight out of your camera and straight into the printer okay it's telling me to discard the page there we go okay so immediately it's reading the camera memory card and let's just pick a, an image here that's got uh, plenty of colour on it there we go uh, it's a bright sunny day with my daughter in the garden so let's actually just print that it's estimating a minute and 20 seconds to produce so let's see how that goes it's gone up to a minute and 40 you will find uh, that certain prints will take longer depending on the actual image size on the memory card um, so if you've got a camera with a very high resolution such as 14 or 15 megapixels from a digital SLR camera they will take longer to print because they just take a little bit longer to process uh, slightly less complex JPEG images on a memory card do print a lot faster so let's just let that run through and again you might want to fast forward this bit uh, if you're watching along but I just want you to get an idea of how long it actually takes and how quickly it all comes through so while we're waiting for that to actually just come through let me just mention again this uh, is this comes from our sponsors it247.com and this regular price is £80 but at the moment uh, IT247 have it for just under 45 that's including VAT so it's a fantastic price it's a good little printer I've um, had HP Photosmart printers before they're inexpensive to run as well so they um, are definitely yeah, worth uh, worth considering they are comparable to actually um, sending them off to a photo lab really and you have the convenience of actually uh, doing them here and now when you're at parties and things like that or even if you're away on holiday it's small enough to take with you and uh, you can get your prints instantly without actually having to send them off to a photo lab I think they're very cool and we're just about done there we go so I guess around uh, a minute and a half and we have our print uh, I haven't done any editing with the photo at all that's directly from the camera straight into the printer quality is pretty damn good uh, the detail, the colour reproduction, um, though it's not coming over fantastically well on the actual uh, video here, as you can probably tell. Um, it's still very good, very glossy paper, and the image quality is really, really good, so very impressed. So you can pick this up for under £45, which I think is really impressive. That really is a bargain, quite frankly, and uh, if I didn't already have one at £45, I, I'm almost certainly going to going to have bought one so uh, definitely worth checking out at it247.com so this is the HP PhotoSmart A532 we'll have a full review for you over the next week or so and also we're running a competition with our friends over at it247.com and we're going to give one of these away so definitely check out the competition over on tracymat.co.uk um, it'll be fairly easy to win and uh, we'll get you to enter and we'll give this over, away over the next couple of weeks and we're actually not giving this one away that's all opened uh, we're giving a brand new one away so uh, you can win yourself one of these uh, it's definitely definitely a worthy prize we'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracymat.co.uk very soon but for now thanks for watching